In this video, I'll tell you about my new artwork, about the first project after a gap year, about my first artwork in Sochi, where we dreamed to spend winter. I am Virel. I am contemporary visual artist. I draw in traveling with my family, create ornamental paintings, mandalas, collaborate with like-minded companies around the world. Hmm, 2020 was a very strange year. But 2020 was very important for us. We became parents. Our Poliana was born. So our life turned around, the days went faster, and I'm learning what is it, my time management. But what is the most important thing? Our life became more meaningful. And only now I'm starting to understand what is it, to be here right now. But our big passion is still the same. Wanderlust. And we decided to spend winter 2021 in Sochi, where I created the first project in the Sun House. The Sun House is a yoga hotel in Yakarneshiel. The staff organized yoga tours to Sochi, Abkhazia and India. And I planned to draw and practice yoga during these two weeks, but when you have 9 months old baby, the maximum you can do morning practices and not every day. At least when the main goal is to finish the wall painting in time. And I am very thankful to my husband Dima, our super dad, who gave me this possibility, the time to make my idea real. So now my mandala lives in yoga hall, where people do yoga while it is cold outside. The idea was to create the mandala in the center and then to paint ornamental waves around it. The artwork is made in the one color. Together with the client, we chose blue, the tone number you can see on the screen, and traditionally the sketch. As usual, at first I made a marking, and for that I used only a pencil and a tape measure. Yes, I didn't use a compass. I learned how to create circles without it. I just do points on the same distance from the center and then draw a circle by hand. Actually, the first idea was to create my Listen to Your Heart mandala on the wall. But we discussed it with Anna, the customer, and decided together that this space needs something more airy, delicate. And step by step, the idea of this mandala was born. I want to show some moments of wall painting. I made detailed marking of the mandala and also marked slightly the waves. In this project I had a clear vision of the central part. And about the waves, I decided to leave them for later. When I finished the mandala, I would add some wave ornaments without overburdening, just to supplement the central mandala. In this project, I used my favorite material, graffiti markers. These markers are refillable, and this is a big advantage. I don't use too much plastic as I use only one marker, and I need just to change the tips when they blur, and to refill the marker with the special liquid. In this artwork, I decided to combine floral ornaments with the dots to make the volume effect. And of course, my assistants. Dima and Paulina filmed the drawing process, entertained me, didn't give me to fall in drawing and draw from dusk till dawn. And the main assistant of this artwork became our Poliana. And you know what? It's so wonderful to draw together. Of course it is harder. The drawing time becomes longer. We need to get distracted for nursing, feeding, walking, sleeping, playing, hugging, because Poliana needs mom's attention. But it is so full of life, so essential. I think that's all for now. I don't know when I post the next video. There are so many ideas for future projects, and I'm learning mommy time management. What do you think? Is it real to combine motherhood and art projects?